All right, what started as a protest in Eugene is now a permanent pageant and ready for its 32nd annual competition. Yeah, who will be crowned Eugene's slug queen? KEZI 9 news anchor Sean Cuero takes us behind the scenes to find out what it really means to win the ultimate anti-beauty pageant. <laughs> for some, getting dressed up for a night out is simple. It's a routine. Not for these queens. It's time to transform, darling. Count them. Eight lovely ladies in a restroom and one man. And what they have in common? 2008. They've all been crowned slug queens. Ta-da! When in doubt, add more. They're wild. <laughs> With a lot of zany. I am the reigning slug queen, so 2013-2014. She is Queen Professor Dr. Dresselhouse, the first science slug queen, promoting education and some outrageous lashes. They're amazing. They make you feel fabulous. Being a slug queen, though, is more than just a costume. It's about individuality. It's about Eugene. The year 1983, the new Holt Center set to open. City officials were working to launch an annual festival for the occasion. We know it as the Eugene Celebration. But others wanted a name which was much more catchy, Slugfest. So they protested with a float. Let's just have our own entry in the parade and let's call ourselves the Slug Celebration. And it stands for the Society for the Legitimization of the Ubiquitous Gastropod. They also held a unisex slug queen pageant. Eugenian Bruce Gordon won the title. Queen Melva won it the following year. <laughs> 20 years later, the competition almost went extinct. I was the only one who ran for queen that year and put on my own competition and coordination. I single-handedly single single saved the slug queens from extinction. It's a pageant where a queen is always a queen. Where bribing the judges is encouraged. The winner receives a crown and a scepter and duties, including the opening of the Eugene Celebration Parade. And while they prefer no rules, they have earned respect. It's really grown through the years. I think we are official representatives of the city. Each candidate runs on a platform. Queen Peterella advocates for handicap awareness. Do you love being a slug queen? Yes, yes, he does. Um, Individually or as a group, they know how to garner attention. <laughs> the ultimate selfie. Because you're slug queens. You're famous. Slug queens are easily recognizable, turning heads and, yes, bringing men to their feet. They are a tradition, exclusively Eugene. Pearls, paws, wave, wave, wave. And Eugene, Sean Cuellar, KEZI 9 News. Wave, wave, wave. Great story, Sean, and thank you to all you queens. The uh, 32nd Annual Slug Queen Competition and Coronation is this Friday at the Saturday Market Stage at 8th and Oak. Festivities begin at 6. It's a free event, but you may want to bring a chair for your comfort.